Well, yesterday's inauguration broke many glass ceilings. Our nation watched the first female, first black, and first Asian American vice president sworn into office. Well, as you can imagine, and as Will Uick reports, the impact of all these firsts is being felt all the way here in Ohio. As 56-year-old Kamala Harris, the daughter of an Indian mother and Jamaican father, was sworn into the vice presidency, the world watched with a range of emotion. Kamala Harris is a black Indian woman. My mom's also an Indian woman. But there was only one emotion coming from Kavitha Kotha's house. So when it was happening, what I did was, yeah! Unbridled joy. We were like dancing while they were doing the oath and um, but at one point, Rohan was like putting his hand on the jacket with Kamala Harris. I think it was important to share with them. They are young boys who can achieve whatever they want, and so showing them that is really powerful. Kavitha grew up in Westlake, Ohio, before moving with her family to the Columbus area. She remembers being a kid and only dreaming of a day she'd see someone that looked like her achieve something like this. And now she got to watch her two sons, seven-year-old Rohan and nine-year-old Tejas, see it with their own eyes. For the first time seeing someone like me, it was cool to share those moments with the boys and explain to them, you know, the, the power and the magnitude of everything that was going on. It was a big event for their family, celebrated throughout the day, with special dishes giving nods to Harris's roots, like marsala dosa, pow pad ghee, and Jamaican curry chicken. But for dessert, it was apple pie, symbolism for America where Kavitha now believes her two sons can not just dream like she did, but actually achieve the highest offices in the land. I want to be a zoologist when I grow up. That is, if they want to. I'm not quite sure, but I want to do something that has to do with nature. Although maybe the president wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Now, I also did get a chance to ask Tejas and Rohan what they would ask of Vice President Harris if they had the chance. And they had a pretty tall order, Betsy. They asked for uh, her to find a way to keep coronavirus from impacting their schools, as well as have everyone in the United States that one and one be able to get a job. So we'll see if this administration can, can live up to that very tall bar that they set. I'm sure that she would love to do that, most certainly. And what an inspiration <laughs> that family is. You know, this becomes such a great learning experience on many different levels. But to have that personal, cultural connection, that's kind of a special thing and definitely something to be celebrated. Will you thank something you so much for that? Something they'll remember, absolutely.